Hi, De hi Gemini. How are you, my lovely cyber angels, my beautiful friends? And this is your reading for the 11th to the 17th of May. And I'm using the Vice Versa deck. And I'm using the Spiritual Animal Oracle deck. And the Wildwood Tarot. And the Surrender deck. Now we've had a couple of beautiful readings and at first glance this seems ooh, scary. Okay, it looks dark because it's dark colored uh, cards, but they're awesome, believe me. Okay, let's see what Gemini has in store for us this week. Okay, now this is the front of the card and this is the back of the card. You sometimes hear me talk of yin and yang and the I Ching. That is this. I don't know whether you can see it. But it's the uh, I Ching, the yin and the yang. But in this color card, in this card, in this deck, it is blue and yellow. So that blue is air and yellow. That's the solar plex. So that's the throat chakra and the solar plex. So I think that's a nice representation. Okay, and then I would say Archangel Michael and Archangel Jovial. The joy, yellow is joy, okay, and energy, it's like the sun. Um, and you've got the three of ones. And the three of ones is a joyous card because your plans are coming to fruition. You're seeing your boats of abundance coming in. You can see he is standing on sand. So he's standing most probably on the beach. And he's an action, action, action. It means action. One wand is on fire. It means action. So there's a busy time. So things are coming in this week for you, Gemini. Your plans are coming to fruition. Abundance could be of love. Abundance could be money, could be a job could be anything you've got the six of cups and the six of cups somebody from the past might be coming back and bringing you a gift and um, we're still in Taurus so this is your last house that you're in so the 12th house the 12th house means like I said, it is your 12th house, and the 12th house rules secrets, the parts of you that are hidden, your subconscious, your actual dreams, your nightmares. It governs also your karma, and what you undo, and your soul's growth that results in your self-undoing um, uh, and your soul's growth that results in your in our undoing so by undoing things like telling the, the truth like seeking the truth and undo the wrong things that people have done to us or that has happened to us or undo secrets by uh, bringing them out in the open this is the house that is the last house of your zodiac chart okay so it's always a month below before your birth is your last house so for the Gemini it is Taurus and Taurus is the um, second house in the in uh, the zodiac for uh, uh, in the whole spectrum of the zodiac and Taurus is a baby and it is um, the Taurus seeks I have what do I have what do I have to teach and love and love know that love is patience and learning and the love is forgiveness now Gemini is the house that is the child so um, to think Gemini's are thinkers communicators and uh, learners they are eager to learn um, so that they can gather wisdom and they teach they, uh, they teach that love is awareness and learn that love is feeling so if you are a Gemini 
that has sec a secret love or that you admire somebody you might be actually telling somebody that you love them so that is your 12th house so somebody from the past that you loved in the past you might if they're coming back they uh, you might be telling them that you love them but you might be getting a present oh it's also um, uh, if the Geminis are born in uh, Taurus, then uh, in the month of May, I mean, uh, then um, happy birthday, and uh, sorry, <laughs> I think, uh, sorry, my mind is going round with figures. We are the sixth sixth house, uh, the sixth month, right? So, and this is the, uh, a card number six. Six means balance. Six is awesome. Okay, six is usually also success because five is unbalanced. So you've got success by being in balance. But you could be reminiscing about past the past and somebody could be coming back from the past. But three and three is six and six and six is twelve and we're in the twelfth house in our zodiac sign. So do you see the play with the numbers that I get in my head? And you've got a six here. So you've got two sixes and they're lying close to each other. So you have a double number. And a couple of other uh, zodiac signs had a double number, uh, double cards with the same number. So I take that that you are having a lucky week. Definitely with abundance coming in. We also have the High Priestess. You might be highly intuitive or psychic or sensitive uh, to the unseen. You might be feeling things are shifting and moving, Gemini, because you've got the white and the black. Again, the yin and the yang, the opposite. So your opposite, your other half in yourself, in the sign because we're a dual sign they might mm, be opposing each other or there might be an opening because the two pillars represents for me number 11 the um the doorway to a new beginning the angels are giving you a new beginning and angels are spiritual as well and the high priestess uh, to me she's the goddess of the moon and the moon represents Pisces and Pisces is also very spiritual and psychic but the high priestess has got her um, emotions under control she has the book on her lap of wisdom and the scroll of wisdom in some decks it is a scroll the Torah and in other decks it's the book of wisdom she knows all the answers from the universe and she can move between uh, the dark side and the light side we can't do without one or the other the white is day, day and dark is night there are some things we don't know and that's why it is quite uh, unique that um, once yeah I, I wrap it on too much I know um, but I can carry on about the cards until the cows come home but it's quite unique we are in the 12th house and uh, secrets that's mystery she is mysterious so she and she doesn't talk much she observes and she will only tell uh, or answer when necessary so we are in the 12th house and here again I just I forgot that this was number ele uh, this is number uh, 2 or 11 I've it is number 2 she's number 2 and but it look it is new um, Roman um, uh, numbers, um, and that's why it looks like an eleven. Okay, so it's like the number eleven on the two pillars. Um, there is uh, it looks like a number eleven, but you ha do have that doorway. Okay, look, you can see the sky, so you can walk through. The angels are giving you a new beginning, and this is. Um, confirmed with the ten of wands and it says responsibility you take your responsibility really straight through to the core and very seriously 
but you are tired you want to give up don't give up this late in the game you're nearly there where there is an ending there is a new beginning so that is confirming that the angels are giving you a, a beginning a doorway to step through to the new beginning they've seen you being really serious about your responsibility you have the six of swords you're moving away from troubled waters and going to quieter waters you might move home you might move from one business to another business or from one building of a firm to an, a new building that the firm has taken on perhaps the firm has downsized and you're moving with them you're not one of the people that was made redundant and then you have the nine of bows this is ones and this is ones you can see the nine of bows he looks really evil <laughs> but he he's determined you can see by his eyes he's really determined and he he can be vicious he's not taking bs from anybody okay he will fight for what he believes and that's you really you gemini you will fight for honesty justice you will communicate beautifully you can make sell ice cubes to eskimos believe you me and not only that you have if you've got a bit of knowledge or a lot of knowledge of a lot of things you are a walking um, what do my children call me they used to call me uh, a walking Wikipedia or an encyclopedia because <laughs> everybody always keeps on asking me for advice oh, I had to laugh when the children used to call me that anyway I'm glad I can use my knowledge to help others so that is on Friday so uh, again a new beginning new beginning new beginning you have carried your responsibility in on the right path and you fought for it you you're not letting anybody take your slice of cheese off your sandwich if you know what I mean that's a Dutch saying you will fight for what you believe and you are stronger than you think you're moving away that is confirmed by the nine of wands that you are moving away from drama you're not staying you won't move away from drama from other people's drama luck is on your side look at this you've got the wheel of fortune and you've got the ank he's holding up the ank <laughs> this is a number 10 again so that's an ending a new beginning this is the wheel of fortune if you um, if you are in a relationship or if you're not in a relationship somebody might be coming from back from the past bringing you present but it could also be karma it could be also karma they might come round to apologize Ooh, that uh, is scary now I said at the beginning of the reading it is a scary it looks scary <laughs> uh, but if somebody comes from the past you know you have learned to deal with difficult situations so don't be scared you can definitely uh, out talk them you've had the time to heal you've had the time to meditate or contemplate and evaluate because you've got the hanged man okay and you've had the time to gather knowledge and experience you can deal with negative people you you could have had an uh, a delay because the hanged man the mirror means delay um, this could have been for four hours four days four weeks four months or four years and um, we do have an a uh, four somewhere I think no we don't but we do have let's have a look there is a message here you've got one ten two ten three ten 310 310 yeah 310s so that's a 310s you've got a 3 here the 3 the 6 is significant so 666 is the devil's number so be aware okay there is a warning in every single reading so if somebody's coming back and they were negative or let me put it really 
bum out there if um, if they were the devil then be forewarned you have got the knowledge you have the responsibility you know how to deal with it you've got respect now you've got the karma and you're getting it back threefold okay you've got recognition you might get a promotion because you've got recognition somebody might be jealous and might be acting like the devil don't let anybody manipulate you okay if you are uh, going out with somebody then somebody might ask you shall we have a relationship shall we get engaged shall we get married your relationship could also go up to the next level again a card for moving home and um, going on holiday perhaps you were planning a holiday and it was delayed because of the coronavirus now three is creativity you are creative Gemini you're the third house and you've got three times three is twelve okay now six and six is twelve six and six and six is eighteen let's have a look um, 18 ah here we've got the four there you are oh, I'm going on on a bit too much sorry about that but I think it's quite significant that the number three six um, and twelve is significant in the reading because you've got number twelve there okay now the overall energy in the month my darling is number 10 the 10 of swords so the 10 me, um, the overall energy m might mean that um, there are there are definitely endings and new beginnings but somebody might have been evil because of we've got the 666 okay and um, they might have stabbed you in the back you're done with it like I said you've gained the knowledge you've gained the wisdom you've taken time out to think about this and you're moving away from dangerous or negative people you're moving away from drama okay you might have a backache at the moment because you've been really carrying a heavy load literally and figuratively because if you're moving home you've got two cards if you are moving home then you are carrying heavy things okay and the overall energy from the other deck is the green man that's the emperor you can you know how to delegate like i said you've learned a lot of wisdom um, you've had life experience you've had advice perhaps from somebody um, a professional or a father figure on how to deal with this difficult situation and you've come through you've come through big time okay you know not to believe everybody okay now you've got the beaver the beaver spirit now we all know that the beaver is busy 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 and I'm going to that's number six as well so six six and six is eighteen one and eight is nine again a nine we've got a nine here endings endings galore lay a solid foundation beaver spirit is here to tell you about a power living within you that is born of spirit the source from which all life arises this is the power to establish the sacred connection with the universe and the universal consciousness so you can del deliberately co-create the world you desire know that it takes work determination and sustained effort boom there you go sustained effort to co-create and lay a solid foundation for your dreams if with spirit as your partner you bring the twigs and branches of your intentions and desires and spread them across the river 
of time and you'll be amazed at what you can do. You will find that you can even change the direction of the flow of life. You can ensure that your world will be a prosperous and a purposeful, filled with love and joy, rich uh, with magic and meaning, that which you desire will come to you and remain su sustainably if you build on a sturdy foundation. Keep your intention and energy consistent and de deliberate using all your resources and the energy of this wonderful productive time. Have faith for with spirit to co-create with you your success is assured spirit is your partner helping you along as you change the course of your life in the way your heart desires now yes i think that's a beautiful card you can only carry on when you have the purpose and you know what the purpose is in your life and that is what gives you strength honestly gemini you are amazing well this is amazing reading let me put it that way surrender your fear of intimacy you are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your hearts there you go i know what this card really means gemini and a lot of people you know like the queen of uh, swords they s a lot of readers say that she's the ice queen and she is the widow well i know a lot of people that are gemini's and ladies and they are not widows and they're certainly not cold <laughs> they're very warm-hearted and they're very generous and loyal um, but they keep their emotions in check when it comes to business or when they have to have a clear head and that is what you have learned if you've had a hard time you've got that experience now so you can keep your emotions under control but you can open your heart now because you've you've learned from the past you know that you don't want a 666 okay you don't want a devil the past is the past let the devil go and love love and have peace shine be the shining star you always are you have support from your other half as well um, dual duality you know you're not so schizo you just you just have to cope with more and you can because you you you're dynamic you're the only sign that can do two or three things at the same time if not more and people are always flabbergasted okay don't worry about it Gemini a lot of people don't understand Gemini's definitely not so open your heart it is safe for you to love um, and don't and don't um, learn one thing from the past you know you are a doer and you do lots of things at the same time but do, if you are partnering up with somebody and even if it is somebody from the past then you know make the rules let them know your boundaries and know their boundaries it's give and take in a relationship to maintain the balance use your intuition if something doesn't feel right listen to it okay gem gems i hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and stand strong stay well and stay safe please like and share and remember love yourself first and take care of yourself first before you can love somebody else or take care of somebody else you're ready for it now so open your heart and your solar plex and let love and joy come in ciao ciao remember the two angels you are protected <laughs>